YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you guys how I set up my climbing sticks and platform for a perfect 360 degree saddle hunting shot opportunity extravaganza. I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I want to show you how to set up your saddle hunting system so that you are able to comfortably shoot in 360 degrees around your tree or very close to that. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I recently have had a deer walk within shooting range, but at an angle that I was not comfortable taking a shot at in my saddle. So through some trial and error in my own experience, I was able to figure out this setup that works best for me. Now there are a lot of different ways to do this. I know different folks have different techniques while shooting from a saddle, but I hope that this video will shine some light on one of the ways to do it that I found works well for me. So. I'm about to head in. I'm going to get quiet. It is Sunday, so I'm not allowed to hunt in Pennsylvania today, but I will be out hunting tomorrow. So I just want to creep in, set my sticks and my platform, and then I will creep out and we'll talk a little bit more about the setup. And yeah. All right. Okay, so my sticks and my platform are set out in the woods, ready for me to hunt tomorrow. Normally, I don't leave my platform out with my sticks, but tonight I did because I know I'm going back tomorrow. I couldn't really show you what I was talking about without actually having my bow with me. So I went ahead and created the same setup here so that I can really show you what I'm talking about in setting up the sticks and the platform. So let me climb up and we'll get to the good part. Okay, so the scenario that inspired me to create this video was like so. I was in my saddle expecting deer to come out on my left side and to my surprise, a deer walked out on my right side. Now, obviously in the saddle, it's easy to draw on this side. So I have a nice shot all through here, but it's very difficult to shoot off to my right. So in the moment, I didn't know what to do and I wasn't able to draw on that particular deer because of that. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this, but here is my sort of remedy to the situation. I like to set up my highest climbing stick and my platform at about the same height and I set them up to each other. Like if you're looking at a clock, it would be like the climbing sticks are at six and then my platform is at two. Does that make sense? So now what I do whenever I have a deer off to my right is swing around the tree. So I go like so and I'm able to execute that shot because I have the stability of my sticks to put my feet on. Now I could even put both of my feet on here and wrap myself even further if I need to. Now, obviously you wanna minimize movement as much as possible. So when I do this maneuver, I do it a little slower. I'm making sure that the deer is distracted by something else as I'm moving, but I have performed this dance around the tree and have been at full draw for deer that walk out on my wrong side successfully. Um, now, here's the other option that you have that I am not comfortable with. So I reach my right hand between the tree and my tether bridge, my body, and then I go ahead and I turn all the way around. Now, I can come to full draw easily, and this ends up holding me in place. Now, I'm only a couple feet off the ground, so I don't feel 
uncomfortable sort of maneuvering around my platform like this. But for me, when I am at 15 feet or so high, it's uncomfortable for me to do this maneuver. I find it easier to, again, sort of hide behind the tree and swing around it in order to get into my shooting position. Again, personal preference, but I thought this video would help some of you in figuring out how you are most comfortable hunting from a saddle, moving in a saddle. So that is it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope this helped you out. I will be coming out with more saddle hunting specific videos because I've been having a lot of fun learning how to do it and I'm excited to share that with you. So that's all. I will see you in the next one.